So we'll first do an example where the road is unbanked. So the turn that the car is making, it's making on a flat road. And the radius of the circle that the car is making is 80 feet, uh, where the road is unbanked. And the coefficient of static friction is 0.8 and kinetic friction and the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.6. So the question we can ask here is what is the fastest that the car can go before it begins to slide? What is Vmax before car slides? And so that's pretty much it over here. So the road that the car is making, if we were to draw like a, uh, the top view would look like this. The car is going around the turn here. And where the radius of curvature is uh, 80 feet. Now the thing is, the, it doesn't even have to necessarily be a complete circle. It could be a portion of a circle. The car could be going, let's say the car can be going on a turn like this. Or let's say the car is going straight. And at the end of the road, there's a portion of the road where it's curved like that. And then, then it straightens out. Right? It straightens out after that. So the question can also uh, refer to this term. You see, right here, as the car is going straight, it's going, this portion of the curve, it's like going in a circle, right? It's a portion of a circle. So you can almost draw like an imaginary circle right there. And this is the radius of curvature of the circle, right? This is 80 feet. And actually, this, this path right here has two circles. Uh, one is this one, concave down, and then one is this one, concave up. This is a point of inflection right here, right? Every road, has, uh, every road that goes straight and then goes this way straight has a point of inflection in the middle. A concave down, concave up. So here's another circle. And then maybe this could be also 80 feet right or it could be that it's 80 feet and then something else 60 feet you know and it could go like that and then turn and then another sharp turn so the question could be how fast should the car go here what's the maximum that it can go if it's to make this turn and then make that turn if it's got two turns to make then it's uh, then uh, it's gonna straighten out over there you see so this is a very applicable question so the static coefficient of static friction is 0.8 and 0.6. Now, the side view is going to look like this here. It's going to be like uh, this. And uh, imagine the car here. We're, imagine we're looking at the car from the right side here. OK? And the car is coming out towards you. And it's going around like this. And it's making a turn like that kind of coming out and going uh, out of the board and then coming this way. So imagine for now, a, as if it is a complete circle, I'm going to view it as a, like a semicircle here. You know, the car is coming out uh, uh, towards you here. The car is coming uh, towards you, and then over here, it's going in. So I'm viewing it as if it is a semicircle. And uh, the forces on the car are the normal force, the mg. And there must be a force uh, that is into the circle, towards the circle. And uh, in, that, in this case, it's the mu sn. Okay. Now, if the car is going really slow, then the, the friction force will not equal mu sn. Right? So in general, this friction for, uh, the, 
the friction force between the tires and the road is going to equal mu S, uh, fs, right? So if the car is going, let's say, 10 miles an hour, and then makes the turn at 10 miles an hour, the fs will not equal to its maximum value because it doesn't need to equal its maximum. But if the car begins to go faster now and wants to still make the turn, the fs is going to have to increase, 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 right? What's the maximum that it can equal? What is the maximum fs can equal? Well, I just wrote it up and I erased it, so. Mu s, n, exactly. All right, so the maximum that fs can equal is mu s n. So the car goes fast. At a certain point, now it's on the verge of slipping. So when it's on the verge of slipping, what's going to happen? The car is going to go, just go straight, and the friction force is not going to be able to push it in, and the car is going to end up going straight. So it's going to go like that, and then like that slide. So it's going to look like, you see, it's going, the car is going straight. It's going to look like it's moving out of the circle this way, like that. It's not going to be able to make the turn that it can, you know. So the maximum that fs can be is mu s n, okay. So uh, now, in order to make the turn, fs is going to equal mu s n is going to equal f centripetal. So the f's, the maximum fs is going to have to uh, equal to the centripetal force, which equals m v squared over r. And then in this case, the normal force, since it's a flat road, the normal force equals mg. And the m and the m cancel, and v equals uh, square root of mu s r g. This is actually v max. Okay, This is the maximum velocity that you can go at. And uh, then we have here square root of, now we can put in all the numbers. Mu s is equal to uh, 0 0.8. R is equal to uh, 80. G is equal to, this one we're going to have to use 32 because uh, um, the radius is given in feet. So do all that, tell me what you get here. This is the maximum velocity. which is about close to, um, and I think that's close to uh, about uh, let's see, 60 miles an hour is 88 feet per second. This is going to be close to 30 miles an hour, almost 30 miles an hour. So that's, that's how fast you can go maximum. Now notice in this problem, I didn't use the coefficient of kinetic friction. So it's an extra piece of information that was given to me that I don't need in this problem. The reason that I don't need the coefficient of kinetic friction is because I don't want this car sliding, right? The coefficient of kinetic friction kicks in when the car is already sliding and it's moving out of the circle. So I don't want the car sliding. I don't want the car to accelerate along the, I don't want the car uh, to accelerate in this direction other than the fact that it's going around the circle, okay? So uh, because I don't want the car sliding, then I don't need mu k. So it's an extra piece of information that I don't need. Okay, so now let's go to example two and we